Once upon a time in the dusty town of Featherville, there lived a feisty rooster named Rusty. One sunny day, Rusty found a worn out cowboy hat and a pair of boots hidden in the old barn. Rusty quickly made friends with the other animals in Featherville. Have you ever dreamed of creating your own animated movie, but lack the funding or technical skills to make it a reality? Your days of longing are over, because in this video, you're going to learn how to use AI to automatically generate an animated clip in any art style of your choice for free. You can pinch yourself because this isn't a dream. It's 100% real. AI-generated films are now a thing. Before we get into the details, let's take a look at the steps we'll be walking you through. Get your story, get your characters and scenes, animate your images, and edit your video. So without wasting time, let's get started. Get your story. For starters, your dream animation needs a script. Since we have established that we are going for the free route, instead of paying a screenwriter, we are going to be contracting it out to ChatGPT for free. So you can prompt ChatGPT to generate a script in any topic of your choice, even in the Disney Pixar style. Get your characters and scenes. Now that we have our story, we need to create images for the characters and scenes described within it. To do this, you can leverage any text-to-image generator like Midjourney, Dali, Stable Diffusion, and ClipDrop. But for this tutorial, we are going to explore two easy ways to generate images using a free tool called Leonardo.ai. On Leonardo.ai, we select the 3D animation mode and add a very specific description of the scene we are trying to generate. Don't forget to add Disney Pixel Style at the end of your description. After penning down what you want to see in the scene, it's good practice to also instruct the AI model about the elements you don't like to see. To use this, use syntax minus NEG, followed by descriptions of what you don't want generated. If you're using the free version of Leonardo.ai, disabling prompt magic sliders and photoreal alchemy improves the quality of the render. You can also select any aspect ratio you wish. The last thing you want to do is select the upscale image option. It forces the AI model to provide the best possible render. Alternatively, you can create images by adding a reference picture to Leonardo. Do a quick Google search for the closest looking image to your imagination and download it to your device. Next, upload it on Leonardo and follow the same procedure just highlighted for generating images. Animate your images. After generating all the images for your story, you're ready to bring them to life. Leonardo has released a new image to motion feature to turn images into videos. You can try it out by clicking on the image to motion button inside each image window. However, this feature doesn't give you the option to choose the type of motion you'd like to see in your image. For this tutorial, we will be using another tool called Pika Lab. We'll use the images generated with Leonardo.ai as input for this AI video generator. In return, it will output an animation from your images. Here's how to go about it. Visit the pika.art website and log in. Here, you can upload the pictures created with Leonardo.ai, but we still have to give the bot text instructions for the animation we wish to generate. Remember the text prompt you fed into Leonardo? You'll be using the same template here. After describing the characters and their surroundings on the scene, as you did before, add some action. A young cowboy with blonde hair on a brown horse in the Wild West. Add a comma and follow that up with the action, riding his horse towards the camera. But that's not all. You can control the result of your animation using additional parameters. Let's start with the video options. You can change the aspect ratio of the video and set the frame rate per second by choosing a number between 8 and 24. The higher the value, the smoother it renders. In the motion control section, you can set the camera's movement and the strength of the movement. The higher the value, the more motion you have in your animation. You can also add negative prompts for what you don't want generated. Another parameter is the seed. This value randomizes the render. For example, let's say we give a value of 200 the first time we render. If we change this number and re-render, we see that it creates a different instance of our animation. The last parameter is consistency with the text. This determines how strictly Pika follows your description. 
and it ranges from 5 to 25 points. If you enter a lower value, Pika Labs follows your instructions loosely, but a high value doesn't give the generator any room to be creative. When you're satisfied with the results, you can download the video clip. Repeat the same steps to produce a video clip for each of your images. Edit your video. Now that you have multiple video clip files, you can edit them by using a video editor tool of your choice. Don't forget to add background music and voiceovers to give more life to your movie. AI tools like Speechify, Media.io, Raw Sound, and Soundful are good choices. And there you have your own Pixar-style animation without breaking the bank. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any videos from us. See you in the next video.